let's look at group by and in group by what we can do is we can aggregate values in a particular column based on another column so let's say we have a table which has two columns animal and the weight of the animal now in the animal column we have couple of rows or records let's say the first record is a dog that has a weight of 10 is another record which is again a dog that again has a weight of 10 then we have the third record which is a cat that has a weight of 5 and we have a fourth record that again has a animal dog with a weight of let's say 15 now what we can do in a group by is aggregate the values so for example in this case we can get a value for the dog and we can get value for cat so let's add another cat in here we can add five and let's call this a cat and the cat can again have any value we can have maybe six so we can add aggregate the values of the animal dog as well as the cat like so and for dog we would be aggregating uh, the values that are these values are two and then we have this th third value now the aggregate the output of a group by then so group by would be as like this we would have the animal column now in the animal column because we are performing a group by on this column we would have all the uh, values that are in here uh, dedupe so dog will have one value of dog we would have we'll have all the unique values so we'll have one value of cat and then in the second column we can have we can use any aggregating function aggregate function and let's say for aggregate we are going to calculate the average of the weight average weight and in this case then the average weight that we have would be 10 plus 10 plus 15 so let me calculate that 10 plus 10 plus 15 and divide that by 3 we have 11.67 so this would be the aggregate weight of a dog that is the average weight of a dog and then uh, what we have for cat is 5 plus 6 by 2 and that's going to be 11 uh, sorry that is going to be 5.5 and we have the aggregate aggregated value that is the average weight uh, of the cat as 5 so what we have in the output is then this table that was uh, created from this table that we have in this case we just used one column which is animal for performing the aggregation we could have more than one column let's say we have an additional column here which is a city okay. and in this city column uh, let's say the uh, row one has the value of city a uh, city a for row one city b also ha uh, sorry row two also has the value of a for the city and for cat let's say this has value of b for this one let's say this has a value of c and this let's say this has a value of d now we have a third uh, third column in the table city which has three different values now uh, four different values a b c d now if we were to perform a group by using a city and animal to aggregate the weight this is how it would work we would have in the output we would have the city and then we would also have the animal column as we did before and then for the app we couldn't use the aggregation again we can use the average so we can get the average weight here and in the output then we start out with city a city a has a dog and the average weight so we would be aggregating these two these two uh, let me use a different color uh, let's say this one so we are going to aggregate these two values these two values and these two values so the average weight then for the dogs in city a would be 10 
then we have city then let's say what we have for, for we directly have a city b and let's use another color here so for city b we have what animals we just have a cat and there's just one cat so the aggregate value is going to be the same which is five in addition let's look at ctc in c again we just have one type of animal and we have a dog and there's just one occurrence of it there are no two dogs in ctc so again the value is going to stay stay the same which is 15 and finally we have a ctd where again we just have one type of animal which is a cat and we have only one occurrence of cat in ctd so we just leave the value six as is so this is the group by output this is the group by uh, output for this particular case where we are using two two columns from the table which is city and animal so here what we have is the same table that you have uh, probably seen several times by now is the roster table and i have these other tables in here which may or may not use i think we'll be just using this roster table so in this table we what we have are two uh, we have columns last name school id and yep so that's the and two columns let me go back i see okay so we are using player stats and not roster table so we have this table that we are going to use take a look at what the table looks like and i'm going to run this query and in this table what we have are these columns we have last name opponent id points scored and the first name and what we can do is we can group by on last name and we can we can also group by on last name and first name and we could aggregate the values that we see here so we have the occurrence of adams that is two times then we have occurrence of buchanan that is two times and we have occurrence of police that's just once so we could aggregate these values we could aggregate three and four and likewise we could aggregate the value of 0 and 30. Now, if we use first names, as you'll see, the first names uh, are the same for this Adam, it's the same here. Uh, Buchanan, so for Buchanan, the first names are different. So you'll see how, how that affects the output values after we perform a group by. Now, let's go back to the query. And what I'm going to do is comment out this query and will run this part where what we are trying to do is getting a sum of points scored and labeling that uh, aggregated value column as if we are giving it a new name and calling it total score and we are going to aggregate on last name and so we have the last name uh, written here group by last name and we also have that here in in the output uh, in the select clause so let's run this and see what output we get so in the output we see that the player stats that we had we have adams adams was we had a point three and here the point was four so three plus four is seven we get a seven here and likewise if we look at buchanan buchanan had a point of zero and then there uh, there was point of 13 so we have 13 here and as for coolidge there's just one occurrence with a point of one and we have the one here so we were able to aggregate the values based on the last name that were present in this table player stats now let's look at what other options we have to perform a group by i'm going to comment this out and now let's uncomment this the part of the query and what we have here is again we are performing a sum on the points scored and instead of just last name this time we also have the first name to perform the group by so here what we had earlier was we got a total score 7 13 and 1 
and we use the last name we have adams and then we have buchanan so we had buchanan and then we have coolidge okay so these this was the output earlier now with sorry i meant to keep that okay now if we run this part of the query with the two columns to be used for a group by uh, what we would see is the numbers aggregated values would change a little bit because we now have the first name in there as well now adams has just one first name so there is just one person who has the last name as adams and the first name as mooney so we have a total of seven that stays as is as we can see here now as for buchanan buchanan there are two pers two different pe persons named buchanan with the last name and have the different first name so in that case when the group by was performed the values of these two could not be added so the value because they are separate now and we are using uh, both of these columns for the group by. therefore the buchanan rocky stays as zero and the buchanan sandy stays as uh, 13 and so we do not have that aggregated value of 13 with just one occurrence of buchanan uh, next as for coolidge coolidge stays as is uh, one because there's just one occurrence of last name coolidge and uh, so there is it has associated first name pebble and uh, it stays as is uh, in the output now there are variations of how we can uh, type the syntax for group by uh, let's look at how that works here what we have is a query where uh, we have these three columns as before and uh, if you notice in the group by instead of specifying the name of the column we are specifying an integer value for uh, last name so this position is one this position is two this position is three so if we specify group by two and the first name this should then group by on last name and the first name column and get, get us the aggregated sum of the points scored from the player stats table so let's run this query and see if we get the same output as we just did and we do get the output so the reason for using an integer is this can be a shortcut method to uh, aggregate values in a particular column based on other columns so, so if, if you have a very long column name you can simply type 2 and that that should get us the same output uh, after the group by is performed next what we have is the same setup where instead of using two columns we are just using one column now uh, for group by which is the last name and we are denoting that by the integer 2 in the group by clause so if we look at the output this time we get the same output as we did the when we run the query very first time and we have adam 7 buchanan 13 and coolidge 1 finally let's look at another variation of this where we can create an alias for a particular column let's say we have we still are interested in getting the aggregated value sum of the points scored by last name so we have the sum and then we have the last name here now the last name is renamed as nm and when we perform a group by we can specify the alias instead of the entire name of the col original name of the column and that works just equally fine so if we run this we should get the same output as we did just now with the last name and that's what we get here in the output so the variations that we looked at was we can use an alias we can use a uh, integer location of the column or we can use the entire last name and finally we can use either one column or more than one column to perform the aggregate value now just for completeness uh, this 
aggregate function that we can use any type of aggregation here uh, that is available and we can simply change that value here and perform and specify uh, the column that we need to aggregate on inside of the parenthesis. So that was it for the group by clause. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section below. I hope to see you all in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.